Hey, what's up, guys? Good day, and welcome to another video of Worksmart Industries TV. My name is Gabriel Odok. I remain your host on this channel. Today, like I said in our previous videos, we'll be discussing um, your crypto investment strategy. For a lot of people, the blockchain technology is something new. It's something that can change the world for them, for the tech guys. But for most people coming into the crypto space, they are in this place for the money. So I want to assume you're among most of the people that are here for the money. If you are here for the money, what plan have you devised to achieve that aim? What's your strategy? You can't just be here for nothing. You have to you have to develop a plan. You have to have a concept to you through the space. So with regards to these, we'll be discussing some strategies that I've analyzed and I've brought up on my own. I think you could find out others on your own. I could just pick one of the strategies I'll elucidate today. We'll also be talking about a very important initial coin offering known as um, Bond uh, Tech. Bond Tech. I'll tell you more about it as we go on. I think that's about that for today. There's not much happening in this crypto space apart from we're seeing blood everywhere on coin market cap. There's a huge sell off. It could be due to the uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt associated with the South Korean ban on exchanges and all that. But there's a lot of sell off currently in cryptocurrencies. So market is bloody and very red so we'll move on to the strategies um, first of all airdrops now what are airdrops if you've been around for a while you would have come across some um, promotion messages or promotional messages on Twitter and um, WhatsApp or telegram if you belong to a lot of crypto groups Telling you to sign up for these, filling your big, your Bitcoin talk uh, username, filling your Twitter account handle, filling a couple of things, and you'll be awarded with some few tokens or tokens of a particular project for free. For free, that's very important. That's key. They are usually for free. Now, airdrops has transformed the lives of many people. I don't take them serious. I feel just a couple of them, and I think I've not even received any airdrop currently, at least for free, except the ones you, you buy tokens. Maybe when a particular blockchain company is doing a free airdrop for all their token holders, so if you have a certain number of tokens, you get a certain number of tokens for free, or a certain number of the new tokens for free. I think these are the only situations I've gotten airdrops. But for fresh upcoming companies, I haven't gotten airdrops from them. But I have seen it change the life of people tremendously. This is one of the ways in which you can come into the cryptocurrency space. Airdrops are absolutely free. You don't have to pay for them in any way. All you need to do is, there are a couple of things that will enable you to sign up for these airdrops. You have... Um, a Bitcoin Talk account. It's Bitcoin Talk. You could Google Bitcoin Talk and sign up. You also sign up on Twitter. You also sign up on Telegram. And um, what else? I think you have a Mu wallet. Mu stands for my ETH wallet. So if you get a Mu wallet, a Bitcoin Talk account, a Telegram account, a Twitter handle, I think you're good to go and you're ready for the airdrop business. What happens is, um, group of tech guys come together and they have this project they have this idea and for maybe the purposes of nobility and or for any other reason best known to them they decide not to go through an initial coin offering to raise funds so they create a certain number of the tokens and hold them also create a certain number of the tokens and distribute to the general public get them listed on exchanges, and then the public determines the prices of these tokens. 
and as the tokens appreciate in value, the the the, the tokens they had created and held for them become valuable and by that way they rest they raise funds to to develop the project better i've seen projects like ethereum blue i think it was it was an airdrop and currently it is trading at i don't know the value but i know it's it's huge and those that part, partook in the airdrop are singing happily there have been a lot of them a lot of people have benefited from a lot of airdrops so my mem uh, those are part of my team will be receiving um um links to airdrop pages so i'll create a group that will be dedicated to airdrops if you're interested in this group you could just join the mastermind group on a uh, whatsapp the link to the whatsapp group is in the video description below so that's that for airdrops i think you should think about it if you're new to the crypto space you're interested in the crypto business and you don't have a lot of capital to invest in projects you could invest in or you could just sign up for airdrops this upcoming project and ride the wave with them as they become valuable with time the next strategy i've noticed and a lot of people have used which i also don't use a lot is icos i think icos i've talked about them earlier initial coin offerings are they are um, like a session in which a startup company sells their tokens to the public at a particular price, then use the money raised from the sales of these tokens to develop their project. And as their project becomes more valuable and more useful to the general public, the price of these tokens go up. And those that purchase the token at the initial coin offering, usually at a very, very cheap and discounted rate, tend to make a lot of money from it. I've seen ICOs make people millionaires. We use a typical one, for example. I got EOS. EOS was being marketed as the Ethereum killer, the blockchain that was going to take Ethereum out of business, which I think is logically impossible given the position Ethereum has acquired at this point. But the idea of that marketing strategy or that marketing statement was that they were going to do things that will make their platform better than the Ethereum platform. So I got EOS at about $2. Um, I think just during the, it was a long ICO, I think it took about six months. So the ICO was still going on while the tokens were already tradable on exchanges. So I got it at $2. It went to I think up to, it went down up to five or six cents and it's currently trading at fourteen dollars. So if you put hundred dollars as of the ICO stage, you fifty fifty EOS token at two dollars per token. And currently with the at the current trading that fifty EOS token will be worth about um that would be about one hundred and fifty dollars by five. That is I think $750, I guess. Yes, $750. So that's what $100 would have done for you. That's over seven times, or seven, about 7.5 times your money. That's not to say um, how much you would have made if you got it when it dipped to about five cents. You will be on massive profit, I think 12 or 13 times by now. So that's the power of ICOs. You buy this project, you, you, you buy this project at their infancy stages and you ride the wave with them as they develop into a um, massively adopted project. The problem with ICOs is that due to the fever of the, due to the cryptocurrency fever and the, the, the problems of everybody wanting to be a part of the cryptocurrency space and increasing popularity, a lot of ICOs currently are scams. The, they don't have a reasonable team. The team has no experience whatsoever in the, the industry they are they are selling themselves or they are selling themselves into and for you to benefit from ICOs you need to do a ton of research you need to scrutinize the team you need to scrutinize their experience you need to you need to be wary of red flags you need to you need to follow the process keenly on the other hand you could invest little money that you could afford to lose in a large number of ICOs. Now, when I talk about research, I mean 
if you're investing a good amount of money, you need to research and be very sure where you're putting in your money. But another strategy is to spread small amounts of money over um, many ICOs. I have a friend um, called Ini, Ini Ekane. He, he believes in the $10, $20 rule. Just spread the money. Don't stick $100 on any project. $20, $10, $20, $10, yeah, and spread the money all throughout those projects. Whichever one goes huge, or with any of them that goes huge, you tend to make the money that you probably, they probably would have lost in the scams. So that's one strategy. But if you want to make it big in ICOs, you need to do a lot of research and put your money where your mouth is and in that way you can make a ton of money many people have made 10 times 100 times 300 times their money if you imagine if you bought ethereum at the ico stage ethereum i don't know how much it sold at the ico stage but i know it, it should be less than five dollars and currently ethereum is thousand three hundred dollars you would be in magnificent profit so this is the benefit of icos and you could research more about it and invest through ICOs. The next strategy is short-term trading. Now, this is what most people in the crypto space are doing. They follow the news. They hear this cryptocurrency is about to do this and launch this project or launch this platform or do better testing of this and that. And they rush in, buy these cryptocurrencies, sell them when they are high and move to the next one. It's one of the most profitable arms of cryptocurrency. You could turn one Bitcoin into five Bitcoin in a space of two months, just by following the news, just by doing what is known as fundamental analysis in the trading world, following the news and following the emotional wave of the public. So short trading is very beneficial, but you need a lot of um, experience now let me not say let me not say knowledge because even with knowledge you could make make a lot of mistakes knowing is not just enough experiencing the cryptocurrency trading space with time makes you more mature as a trader the eos i told you about for instance i bought it at two dollars it went to five cents and when it came to 1.5 dollars or i think 1.2 dollars i sold out my stock of i sold out the last chunk about 90 percent of my holdings now that is not what a good trader should do as of that time i had knowledge of cryptocurrency trading i could trade but i did not have experience experience in the fact that you tend to know a few tidbits what goes up must come down so that coin is flying hold it at that point when it's flying you sell it and wait for it to dip if it's a coin you love or it's a, if it's a project you love so much you wait for it to dip and you buy again so cryptocurrency trading has a lot of things it's it's what you will learn i think by the time we finish our introductory sessions as um work smart industries tv what we'll start um making videos on is short is trading short-term trading basically so i'll take you guys through step by step on how to trade cryptocurrencies so short term trading is very very profitable but you need a ton of experience to make profit from there long term back holding this is the last strategy and for me i think the most important and the most profitable strategy you don't need a lot of experience to benefit from long term back holding take a hundred dollars register on an exchange buy a couple of Fifteen dollars, um, fifteen dollars. I think fifteen by hundred should be about um, four point five or so, or six point five, I guess. So buy a couple of coins, about six of them, at fifteen dollars each, and go to sleep. Just leave them there for a year, and come back, and imagine what's going to happen to them. You need to do a little bit of research. You don't need a lot of research when you're doing long-term backholding because the cryptocurrency space is still new and 
in the long run, what's going to happen is the market cap is going to continue increasing. And as this market cap increases, it's not going to stay in the top 10 cryptocurrencies. It's going to spread out. It's going to keep spreading down. So if you research a coin and it looks like a promising coin with a good team and it's cheap, you just buy it and you leave it for a long time, six months, one year. You come, you sell off. You reorganize your portfolio, rebuy at small, small quantities, leave again for another six months. In that way, you will make a lot of money. Long-term backholding has proven to be very profitable. I bought, I think, 42,000 Bitcoin as of um, June 2017 at about $20 or so. Or 20 or 20 30 or $50, I can't remember exactly. When um, Bitcoin had its spike last two weeks, that holding was worth about $700. That was barely about eight months ago. $700 from a $50 purchase. That's like, that's almost eight times my money. That's the power of backholding. You don't need to put in so much money. You could buy little, or you could buy my friend's rule is tiny you could just buy 10 10 dollars of promising projects and leave them for a year so long-term backholding for me is the best strategy and it's my most profitable strategy the one i've benefited from the most so i advise you to do your own research go on coin market cap check out coins visit their website check out their teams and if they are cheap you buy them and you hold them Maybe for the whole 2018 and see what is going to happen by January 2019. So that is that for strategies. And um, before we go on to look at the bond ICO, I want us to look at the market. So this is coin market cap today. One second, please. So this is coin market cap today. And you can see the market is red, so red. Bitcoin is trading at $13,600. And has been throughout the day, going from 14,200 to, 14, to, 14, to about 13,5, 13,4. So we've just been seeing a lot of blood in the market Ripple is down 8%, trading at $1.88, Bitcoin Cash is down 5%, Cardano is down 9.7%. The only greener in the market currently is Ethereum Classic, that has done 18% in the past 24 hours, that's great. Tron is down 13%. And Everything is just down. Most things are down. So you can see what the market is saying at this point. Market cap currently sitting at um, 702 billion US dollars. Now, if you're a long term trader, this is the time to buy. If you're a long term backholder, if you get in at this point, if you get in at these lows, when the market moves up, it usually doesn't go back to the previous lows, my experience over time. So you get in at a very good low. You buy and hold for a long time. It comes, it, it keeps on going up and it goes up and comes and goes up and comes down, but it usually doesn't get to that low, low in quote. So if you're a long term backward, these are the points you look for in the market. These are the times to buy for a long term so that you just sit and ride the wave as it goes up and comes down for your whole holding period. So that's that for the market. I think I'll move on to the bond ICO right now. So the bond ICO is, um, is an ICO for a token known as bond. The name of the company is bond tech. It's, um, they propose to to have um, 
a platform that is powered by artificial intelligence, a freelance platform, a platform where freelance um, people meet um, employers. So who are freelancers? Freelancers are people that basically don't have um, a daily paying job like yeah, they don't have any com they don't have commitment to any particular job, so they just work as the job comes. So the most popular freelance marketplace is Fiverr. Fiverr is um, currently the place where you can go on their platform. You have five dollars and you need a web designer. You go search for a web designer offering services at five dollars and you pay him. He does your job and everybody goes home happy. To, is trying to integrate this on the blockchain and on the Fiverr platform the problem with the problems are usually payment or payment of people communication in terms of language barrier all these things are what bond tech is offering to solve by being on the blockchain and having their own token which will serve as a, um, a payment option on the uh, bond tech platform now, they said they intend to solve most of the problems seen on the Fiverr platform by using artificial intelligence. And this is the part that caught me about the project. Two things have, have been looked at as the things that are going to change the world the way the internet did. And these two things are the blockchain and artificial intelligence. And the main thing inviting me to this um, initial coin offering is a combination of two powerful industries. When you combine artificial intelligence and the blockchain, man, you can only have something good come out from it. And the other interesting thing about it is their team is a team with a ton of experience. I think they have a a combined experience of about 60 years. They've worked at a very important tech companies like IBM. Okay, so I think these are these these are the team members. So you have Rajesh Pavitran. I think that's an Indian name as the CEO. He's worked at um, IBM. Other co-founders have worked, have worked at Oracle, IBM, and Basically, if you check out the team, they have a ton of experience in this field. And these are the things I look out for when I'm investing in an Just like um, EOS, Dan Larima had already built two previous blockchain, blockchains that were successful, BitShares and Steam. It was only a self-fulfilling prophecy that EOS is going to be a successful project. It's trading at $15. I, think, I still think EOS is a good buy at $15. I feel it's going to go, it's a three-figure cryptocurrency, at least, to say the least, it's going to go to $100. If you buy EOS now, you'll still be in profit. So these are the things I look for. I look for experience. I try not to fight experience. When you see experience on a team, you, you, you know that the project can only provide good results. So we have Bond Tech here with um, artificial intelligence and blockchain to create a freelance job, a decentralized freelance job marketplace with their tokens serving as payment and you have a team with experience of, an experience of about 60 years that worked at IBM, Oracle and many big tech companies. I think it's an ICO that most people should do. So I'm going to invest in the ICO and I've signed up already. Link to sign you up to the ICO is in the video description below. I think the tokens are selling for 0 0.04 dollars, so that's about that's less than a cent, and that's a good buy for such a project. I'll follow the team. I'll be part of their community, and I'll ride the wave with them. I think you should join me. So that's that about Bond ICO. So. Um, I think we are coming to an end. So thank you guys for watching once again and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If there are any ways you think we could improve upon what we're doing, I'll advise you leave us a comment in the comment section below. 
You could join our WhatsApp group for more information and for crypto trading signals. We'll also be launching a group for airdrops for those interested in airdrops. So if you join the mastermind group from there, you get the link to the airdrop group. And for the bond ICO, oh, for full disclosure, I have nothing to do with the team. I have no business with them. They didn't contact me to do a review for the ICO. I just looked at the project and I liked it and I thought I should introduce it to people that watch and subscribe to my channel. So please guys, like, share and subscribe. Please, we notice our views exceed our subscribers. So try to subscribe when you watch our videos. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. Bye for now.